Welcome back to Five Verse Hangout, and today we're going to be doing some more Star Wars baking from the Star Wars Galactic Baking book. Um, I did two of these before, and I think you guys really liked it, so we're doing it again with the wonton tundra treats. And yeah, so you might notice that I'm not wearing my mask, and that's like my uh, gift to you for 100 subscribers. For 50, I did the hair review, and now I guess I'm doing the mouth review, which kind of sounds weird, but this is what we're doing. And yeah, let's get to it. This is the recipe we're going to be looking at today. You can pause the video here if you want to make them yourself or follow our instructions. The first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Fahrenheit. Next thing you're going to want to do is grab this baking sheet. It can look like this, doesn't have to. Um, you can use parchment paper. I sprayed it down. I don't have parchment paper, but I'm just greasing it anyway will probably work. Um, just don't use wax paper. Next thing you're going to want to do is mix your two tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Next thing you're going to want to do is cut up your banana into these pretty thin slices. Um, the recipe calls for 16 of these wontons, but really how many slices your banana has dictates how many wonton things you're going to need. So take of that what you will. Next step. So now you're going to put your Nutella on the wontons. Truly a really small amount because otherwise they will just explode in the oven. So next, you're going to want to take your thinly sliced bananas and put them on the Nutella. If you do not cut them thin enough, you can have one per wonton. It just has to be enough room for the wonton to fold over the banana. After that, you're going to want to cover the top of your bananas with your cinnamon sugar mixture. Next, you're going to take your egg and you're going to want to use one tablespoon of water and you're going to put it in with the egg and mix it up until it looks like this. So the next thing you're going to want to do is wash all four sides with your egg wash like so. As you can see, you're getting all sides nicely coated. So the next step, which is folding them all together, is relatively easy. You're going to fold it once over the top diagonally. Then you're going to fold it and fold it around the top center point. And there you go, that's a wonton. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do before putting it in the oven is washing the top with that egg wash we made. So I'm just gonna lightly dab it not to damage the structure of the wonton and just nice even coats all around. So you're gonna wanna finally put these in the oven here. And you're gonna wanna time for 13 to 15 minutes. Uh, you want to turn on your oven light because the purpose of the egg wash, as you can see, is that once it is nice and brown, you'll be able to tell that they are ready to be done. So, after taking them out of the oven, you're going to want to let them cool for about five minutes. You can see this one here had too much Nutella, so you just got to be careful here, otherwise it will explode. But you can see that the nice corners are all brown and look very scrumptious indeed. Alright, so the next and the final step is to take your powdered sugar, and you're going to want to put it in a sifter if you have one, otherwise you probably just sprinkle it out of the jar. And you're just going to sift over each one so it has a sufficient amount of powdered sugar over it. And that is how you make the wonton tundra treats. They are best eaten right out of the oven after they are cooled off, as then you can taste every little thing you put in there. Uh, if you like the video, consider liking the video. Subscribe if you like Star Wars stuff. That's what we do here. And yeah, it's been the five of us hang out. Bad nerds. Bad I pressed record and now I'm still recording.